Question number three. The weights of a women boxers in a tournament are normally distributed normally distributed with mean 64 kilogram and standard deviation 8 kilogram. Part A. Find the probability that a randomly chosen woman boxer in the tournament weighs less than 51 kilogram. This question carries three marks. X follows normal distribution with mean 64 and standard deviation 8. So they want you to find P of X less than 51. We need to convert X in terms of Z, the standard normal distribution. So take Z equals X minus mu over sigma. Mu is the mean, sigma is the standard deviation. So instead of this, we are going to find P of Z less than X minus mu over sigma. So these two are same. We have converted this variable into z which follows the standard normal distribution. Which is p of z less than minus 1.625. Now we need to find the value of this. There are two ways you can find the value of this. First one is the shortcut method using your calculator. Here I am going to use FS991ES+. plus. So in this calculator you just need to go to stack and look for one variance and then you find the distribution. There are three types. One is P, Q and R. I'll tell you what P, Q, R is. If you look at the normal distribution bell curve, this is the mean, mu. Let's say you have some value here. For example, in this case, minus 1.625. This is zero. And if you want to find this area, the area that lies the left-hand side of the value, which is P of Z, less than, less than this. You put this in here for P. The calculator will straight away give you the values. Minus 1.625. I got 0 0.052081. That's the value. We got the solution already. Let's say they want you to find this value. The right side one. You put this value in here. Or instead of P. Let's say for example you need to find the value between the area between this value and the mean. Then you use Q. So there are there are videos, uh, YouTube videos where you can understand these shortcuts. Watch this video, it will be very helpful. So just apply this, uh, put this in your calculator, you will straight away get the value. That's the first shortcut method. The second method, though I suggest this method, you really need to know what's going on here. That's how we understand it better. So instead of using this shortcut method, I'm going to use the bell curve and the data booklet to find the value of this. Now you see, they want you to find this area. It's a negative number. You cannot use the data booklet, the bigger table for the negative number. So what we are going to do, due to symmetry, this area will be same as this area. This is 1.625. So instead of this, we are going to find this value. So how do we find this value? You take the total value, which is 1 minus, the total area is 1 minus, you can subtract this area, this whole area. So you'll be left with this. How do we find this whole area? use the table instead of negative we are going to use a positive number so use table to find this value subtract from one you will get the answer already so i'm looking at the table now and instead of 0 0.1 uh, sorry 1.625 the table has only two dec uh, values with two decimal places so i'm going to look for 1.60 so 1 minus P of Z less than 1.63. I get 0 
the answer here is 0 0.0516. If you look at these two answers, they are almost same. You can write this as your answer also. You'll be awarded full mark. Here also it's the same. If you round it to three decimal place, this is 0 0.52. Here also you will get 0 0.052. That's the answer.